and I didn't mind. It's a devil's workshop. So I don't want to be idle. My name is S. P. Nair. I'm a chemical engineer by profession. Forty years back, I left my service to start my own industry. I know my father well. If I make him just sit in a place, he would be the most unhappy person on earth. If he can work till the last minute, he will be the happiest person. Normally, get up at six o'clock. I brush my teeth a lot, have some coffee and daily massage my body uh, with oil, uh, do some weight of exercise, have my breakfast, and then go for work. There is no ifs and buts about it. So I was taking him to the dining room. He has a place to sit. Before he could reach that, he said, I want to sit. And he sat on a place and you know, for 20 seconds, yes. Uh, right arm was there was a sort of spasm and his right lip fell down that was the first time my father was diagnosed with severely narrowed calcified aortic valve we did a lot of homework to find out the best heart team in the country we found that dr ab gobala murugan was the pioneer while the other doctors that my father had consulted had said that there was a high risk in conducting the operation, Dr. A.B. Gobala Murgan was very confident and said that he could conduct TABOR with a low risk. He was 99 years old, but with the spirit of an 18 year old, hardworking, full of energy. We had to pull every stop to save him. A cardiac operation at that age, one has to be really careful. Cracking open the chest wall would have been too much for him. We had to reduce trauma, reduce post-op time, prevent infection and get him back on his feet as soon as possible. Only a high quality TAVR can achieve this. TAVR stands for Transcatheter Aortic Valve Replacement. It's heart valve replacement without open heart surgery. One good thing with the did was he held a conference and explained to me the problem that I have and that what he is going to do, how he is going to do it. And he explained the risk very well. He said that if my father doesn't go in for this operation, his uh, risk rate would be 70 percent and if we went in for the operation the risk rate would be say about three to five percent our goal was to get this man back on his feet so that he could return to his energetic life that he loved but it was going to be tough after all he was going to be the oldest man in india to have a tower procedure done feed a small tube through the leg and guide it all the way to the chest into the heart. Therefore, there's no reason to cut open the chest wall. In Mr. Nair's case, the most important aspect of TAVA was that it would improve his quality of life. He would be up and back on his feet in no time at all. The procedure went successfully, but with that, he became the oldest man in India to have had a successful TAVA procedure done. 23rd was the operation. 24th morning I met him, he was good. We were able to discharge him on the same day. Knowing Mr. Naya, had I not discharged him, I'm sure he would have jumped out of bed anyway. The service that I rendered, from the moment that I came here, it was stupendous. Mm -hmm. 
there is no greater joy than giving somebody who loves life a new lease of life. It's his hardworking nature that's brought him this far. I'm just honored to not only save his life, but also to improve his quality of life positively. Uh, I want to have a healthy life, with sufficient work, making sufficient money. A fairly uh, uh, generous approach. <laughs>